Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 28, aka Stormstone Keep. If you like castles, like I do, then you're really going to enjoy this one. So let's get into it, shall we? The 28th level of the Backrooms is classified as a class 1 question mark difficulty and is seemingly safe and secure with a minimal entity count but all that stuff has question marks next to it so who knows the level's landscape is really similar to a real life fields landscape except the sky is a deep blue color and there's no moon or sun just light the ground itself is also dark colored with hints of blue and the level is known for the castle in the middle this castle is named stormstone keep and i'll get into it in a second but it's the only building on the level and it's also the safest spot to go how cool is that it doesn't actually say how big the level is but it does say that roughly three miles from the castle is the safe zone Zone. So don't go any further than the safe zone because it's dangerous and for that matter You probably shouldn't even leave the castle if you can help it because apparently there's some really weird stuff that happens on this level You can tell there's some weird stuff because of the way it's written on the wiki dots Because some of the words are marked out by the blue knight I'll talk about him in a second the castle itself is a slightly worn down and falling apart castle This seems like it's from medieval Europe times. It's also on a hill in the middle of the level's main valley. And the level itself is pretty much situated between mountains on all sides, and there's the valley in the middle with the castle in the middle of the valley. The valley itself has weeds and plants that grow in it, which are all pretty similar to real life plants, but the big difference is that everything here is really flammable and can catch on fire easily. Each plant also has different levels of blue in it, so there's different shades of it throughout everything. If a plant is ripped out of the ground, it won't regrow, and if you burn any plants, then a toxic blue smoke will come out of the plant, uh, so don't do that. And Listen to Smokey Bear. The entire level is in a valley, like I said, and on each side of the valley are these unnaturally huge mountains and they literally go straight up. It's hard to climb. In fact, you probably can't even climb it. They're so tall that you can't even see the tops of them and no one knows what's near them or by them or on them because anywhere outside of the three mile safe zone is extremely dangerous. So the best thing to do is just avoid it. Outside of that safe zone, it's known that the ground and everything else is made out of a rock called storm stone. This stuff is really flammable and it's explosive if it's barely touched. It's kind of like a landmine. The rock itself is completely black, kind of like obsidian, but darker. And if you walk on this storm stone without the right equipment, you could literally just be stepping on a landmine and explode. So don't. On top of the storm stone, there's real storms that happen outside of the safe zone, and these storms have heavy, loud thunder and lightning, and this lightning can strike the ground and cause the storm stone to blow up. So it's just like a wasteland of volatile rocks pretty much out there. I definitely wouldn't be walking out there. The only entity here is the Blue Knight, which apparently is some guy that takes the shape of a hollow set of blue armor. He moves like a human and can speak literally any language that any wanderer can. And on the wiki dot, there's like this entire little story written by the Blue Knight himself about himself. So if you want to read up on him for a little bit, go check that out. But in the middle of that story about himself, he says that all the storms and bad stuff on the level is caused by him from the sense of dread he feels. And then he says he doesn't know why it happens, but he tries to make it stop, but he can't. He seems kind of sus to me. I'm gonna be real. The Meg operative that first met this blue knight guy is named Sarah, and apparently by the blue knight's story, he really likes her. I don't know. There aren't any bases here, just the Stormstone Keep Castle, which itself doesn't have any food or anything, but it is safe to stay in. To enter, you can find a painting of a blue countryside in level 5 and then no clip through it. And to exit, you can't, since the Blue Knight doesn't want you to. Okay, yeah, that's sus. Also, he took someone's phone to write the entry, and that person hasn't been heard from, so starting to not trust this level.
So that was the Backrooms level 28. I really like the concept of medieval castles right in the middle of a wasteland with a weird blue knight. I feel like that's pretty neat. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching to the end of the video, and thank you so much for supporting me, watching the videos, checking out my second channel, wink wink, which you should do because I'm uploading some really cool stuff like some horror gameplays, like Backrooms gameplays, Poppy Playtime, whatever it's called. I'm doing all of it, and you're really going to enjoy it, I think. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video of the Brugly Summer Spectacular. Peace.